High atop the Howard Stern Building in Midtown Manhattan. No more bullshit. This is a Howard 100 News Brief. I'm Mike Hambrick. Stern Show announcer George Takei, honored for his advocacy work in the gay community and his efforts to help protect young gay people. It's Howard 100 News. You need to know. Ladies and gentlemen, please warmly welcome the richly deserving recipient of the 2013 Making a Difference Award, Mr. George Takei. Judy Shepard, mother of the late Matthew Shepard, introducing Stern Show announcer George Decay at the recent Matthew Shepard Foundation Gala. The foundation was formed after 21-year-old Matthew was murdered in an anti-gay hate crime in Wyoming back in 1998. George was given the award for all the work he's done in trying to educate people about gay rights. And on stage, he complimented Matthew's parents for helping to break down barriers. Laws change that made it possible for Brad and me, who had been together, loved each other for 21 years, to be able to be married. But George says there's still more work to do if young gay people are still being bullied and then killing themselves. And I vow and pledge to work with all of you to continue that mission to make a difference, to make a change. Lisa G., Howard 100 News. Every king has his castle, but only one has his own news station. That's why you love Howard 100 News. Isn't it great? Howard 100 News. Competition among whackpackers. Marianne from Brooklyn doesn't want to be left out. With all of the talk this week from Howard about how many tweets whackpacker Hansi and Eric the actor have, Marianne wants Stern fans to know the story of how she came to Twitter is a compelling one. There's a big story behind this, John, because... Years ago when Howie was on K-Rock, he had a thing called the bulletin board, and they had given me my name in orange, which meant I had to learn how to correspond with, you know, the world out there. And I never knew how to even use a computer. I was in my, like, early 40s. My daughter taught me how. So ever since then, I'm like a social media Howard Stern queen. My Facebook is devoted to Howard. My two pages on Facebook are devoted to Howard. My Twitter account is devoted to Howard. So that's what I do. I tweet and um, talk all about Howard Stern on the show all day. For updates on The Stern Show and news from Howard 100 News, go to twitter.com slash Stern Show. If you lie about your age, we'll find out. Howard 100 News, watch your back. After nearly five years, actor, producer, and Stern Show guest Mark Wahlberg finally found a buyer for his Beverly Hills mansion. The 11,500-square-foot home is a far cry from Wahlberg's humble beginnings in Boston. It comes with a screening room, recording studio, a detached gym with a full-size boxing ring. Outside, there's a sports court for playing basketball, tennis or racquetball, a putting green, and a swimming pool with a water slide. No word yet on who the buyer is. Another Howard 100 News brief at the top of the hour. Or as close as we can get. Howard 100.